Hello, and welcome back to the Cove with more Battletech. We are here uh, just doing the last of our uh, arrangements for our contract. We're going to go for the 430,100 sea bills and just a little bit of salvage, nothing too crazy. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can work with this pirate organization. Alright, so we're pretty close on a couple of abilities, so I think we're going to... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stay with who we've got. I think maybe after this one we might switch out Medusa with maybe Glitch or Behemoth. But uh, we will see how it goes. Alright, let us go and deploy. At the moment we have a Shadowhawk and a Centurion in the mech bay. Hopefully before too long we will have those up and running and we can have a little bit more variety in our loadouts. Right, so yes, that is that is something I'm very keen to try, especially to, you know what, if uh, we don't have too much left after this contract, we may just go ahead and uh, wait till that's finished so we can have a nice big battle with some of our new equipment. Alright, so what are we doing? We are escorting a medical convoy to safety and escape, and this is for the pirates. So... Here we go. Uh, contravening all decency and acceptable behavior on the battlefield, the Magistry of Canopus has been targeting our hospitals and medical supplies. We're seeking to redistribute our supplies to safer locations, but one convoy remains without proper escort. That is where you come in. While Canopian forces will be stretched thin, attempting to intercept all of our separate shipments, you can expect that this one will not go unnoticed. Rumor has it that the local pirate organization has been smuggling restricted munitions in among their medical supplies. On the surface at least, we're being tasked with a humanitarian escort mission. Well, only one way to find out. And uh, at the end of the day, I don't think we're going through their, their machine, machinery, their vehicles, so we won't really know. Alright, we have friendly units under fire. Okay. I move to their position and provide support. Uh, get them to safety and keep them intact and get out when it's done. Seems fairly straightforward. Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, let's see. We have, uh... Interesting rocky terrain. Capture zone. Yeah, that's where we need to be. And then all of this up here. Okay, we're definitely going to have a fight somewhere up along there. So, uh, best make hay while the sun does shine. Let's uh, bring in our units. Alright. Oh, and we enemy have detected. enemy contact. Excellent. Let's go and, uh... Well, let's bring you up in this direction. I think we should get direct line of sight next turn. I copy. And, uh, something similar with you. Let's go ahead and, uh, sprint down there. On my way. And you know what? We may as well just bring the Shadow Hawk up. We will, uh... Confirmed. Yeah, we'll go into this combat with a ton of evasion. Alright, let's see what they're doing. I have a Locust with uh, their laser setup. Interesting. Well, not really doing too much there. Anybody else on the radar? We do have someone all the way up here. Okay, so that is something to take note of. Alright. Uh, Orders. Headhunter. Looks like, uh, yeah, Rannick, you've got a little bit of extra initiative now that you've got that bonus uh, to to uh, the things you picked up in the last one. Let's bring you... Let's bring you here, and I think we'll set you up like so. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what we're dealing with up there, but I'd rather know sooner than later. What have you got? You have, oh boy, you have medium lasers, two of those, so that's a good amount of damage. And one, two, three, four flamers and two machine guns. Okay, we're definitely going to want to work on this fire starter. Now, we are in Badlands biome, so that's a 15% malice. That is not ideal. Let's, uh... Let's deal with this guy before he has a chance to act if we are lucky. Alright, putting some damage on. That's at least good for us. And they don't have jump jets, so they're already running away. Okay. 
Well, the good news is we have cover. Armor's holding, Commander. Nothing and see here. we got a nice early shot on him, so. Okay, so we're going to have to go against one of these two. Um, maybe the locust? Not sure. Waiting for orders. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, see. If we have an attack, we've only got 30%ers. Ugh. That's pretty dodgy. Uh, yeah, that's not going to get any better. Maybe we get better line of sight on this other guy. I suppose that's as good as we can get, so let's go ahead and move in. Location confirmed. Uh, now again, let's just uh, quickly double check that locust. Yeah, small and medium lasers. It's not, it's not a uh, small amount of damage, so you know what? Since we actually don't have uh, targeting on this other one, let's go ahead and use our sensor lock. I think that's probably our best bet to get any amount of damage on this guy, so let's go ahead and do that. Got a lock. At least we should now have better shots with everybody else. Alright, so, uh, Shadow uh, Medusa, let's bring you all the way down there. Uh, we do have an AC... Hmm. What about if we moved you further back? Do we get better percentages? Still 40s and 50s. 40s and 50s, although the LRM is slightly less optimal. Well, you know what? It's as good as we're probably going to get. Let's just bring you up here. Move order received. And, uh, no, we still don't have any line of sight on him, which is to be expected. But just in case, uh, I think we... Well, we have the ammunition to spare, so it's not really here nor there if we fire these shots. Yeah, if we can get any damage, that's probably worthwhile. I have impaired sensors, and, uh, yes, yeah, sensor locked. Yeah, let's just fire everything we've got. Confirm. Uh, still burn through the same amount of evasion, but if we could get any extra hits, that is what we are after. Let's bring, um... Actually, if we move over here, that's actually not too bad, and that would mean that they're going to have to come to us. So, you know what? I think that's probably what we want. Yeah, let's, uh, let's bring ourselves up there, I think. Uh, 50s, 260s, 15, 25. Yeah, I think that's all going to be the same, so we might as well take the extra cover. I don't think the uh, extra evasion pip is going to make a huge matter of difference in this case. Well, let's go ahead and uh, send all we got. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we'll turn off the LRMs. We don't need to generate extra heat unnecessarily. I'm happy with the 50-50 with the others. A little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, there goes those. Fair enough. What else have they got? Uh, it's now our turn. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. We could potentially go for a melee. Um, how much evasion have you got at the moment? Don't have any. All right, let's see. Um, Where would be some ideal positions to move? I think if we go here... Yeah, we'd have indirect fire on the other, but that's not really here nor there. I think we'll go... We'll take a little bit of extra range. If we want, we can get some pretty good shots on the Locust. Open ourselves up to uh, this other guy. On yeah, way. might be able to uh, take them down a peg or two. Alright, so that Javelin LRM-15s, that's uh, not bad, but at least it's not too bad. They're fairly far away. I'm assuming they're going to try sprinting, but I'm not sure if they can make it down this terrain very easily. So, uh, yeah, let's just focus on the first problem in front of us, which is this silly fellow. We'll turn off the LRMs, save us the heat, and uh, see what we can do. Lock up. Alright, well, at least we have now halved their damage Call potential. On that, one. that is good for us. Oh, and uh, apparently he does have jump jets. 
Alright, I, uh... I did not think that he did. Alright, well, the other one we do know. Ooh. Alright, damage coming in, that's fine. Minimal damage on that hit. As long as we don't get hit by that flamer, that's gonna be the, uh, real Commander. pain, if anything. Uh, what have we got? We have... 50s, 40s, fire starter. then we have this guy who's pretty dodgy, and then we have this guy. Um, yeah, I think we're going to focus on the Flamer first. Now, we do have somewhat okay shots. Actually, we have better if we move closer. Or... 55, 55, 60, 55s and 60s. Yeah, that's all... It's going to be the same no matter where we go, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's bring ourselves further back. Just to make sure that they have uh, less options to be available. And then, yeah, we're going to focus on him. Just because he can start to cook us and we'll... Uh, be more of a problem to our efficiency than anything else. Actually, you know what we should do? Let's see about a precision strike. I really want to make sure that we get this damage on this guy nice and quickly. Yeah, let's focus on the arm. There's some ammo in there. We could possibly get rid of that. Get rid of a flamer and a laser if we are lucky. Let's go. Got it. Wonderful. All right, cool. I think I hit something good. So that pilot's down a hit, which is good, and uh, down some weapons. That's excellent for us. Let's go. Uh, we could do a melee. Could be worthwhile. Actually, if we go back here. Uh, 60s and some others some for some cover. Yeah, we're not going to focus on the javelin for now. Let's focus on this guy. Um... Yeah, I think I think this is what we will do. Maintain a reasonable amount of uh, distance and a little bit of cover. Actually, maybe we can go a little bit further back. Yeah. Uh, 60, 60, 55, and 40. Actually, it's all about the same at the end of the day. So uh, let's run... Yeah, let's, uh, let's take... Let's take this position, two evasion pips, that's as good as we're going to get. Keep everybody in our forward facing arc, Location confirmed. just so we don't have to deal with any of their little locust shenanigans. And uh, yeah, let's focus on this guy and see if we can take him down. Alright, so that was rather effective. Inflicted some heavy damage. Those two salvos will do very nicely. Let's uh, just quickly check, what is their situation? We still have two flamers, which is more than I'm comfortable with. Let's go... Uh, let's see, I want an evasion pip if possible. There we go, that would work. Evasion, distance, yeah, there we go. All of those odds are very nice. I think that will work for us. Alright, so the question is, with this guy in such poor repair, yeah, I don't know. That's a pretty decent amount of center torso health being 55. So I think we will just commit everything that we have. I would rather spend the extra heat here than be hit with him and uh, yeah, than the alternative. So let's uh, see what that'll do. So that seemed to do the trick. Nothing too excessive, though, by the look of things. Uh, little guy coming in for a melee. That's always uh, fun to see. All right, well, let's go. Got something you want done? Let's see. If we pop you up over here, forty-fives on you. Hmm. Could possibly do something there. 45 and 30. I think what we do here 
is maybe we reserve just for a turn. Although realistically, yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and reserve here. And uh, we will use a sensor lock or hope that they move only a small fraction. Because at the moment, that three evasion pip is really hurting our, our chances to strike. So let's go ahead and reserve. And uh, see what they do. All right. And uh, we have... Yeah, now he's down to a two evasion pips, which is... You'll look at that. That is far, far, far superior. Uh, let's go... Yes, Commander. What do we want to deal with? Uh, who yes, has Commander. the most heat? Um, if we check on our Orion, we've got a fair bit of heat built up. I'm thinking we may use our Orion to actually just crush the Locust. Do 85 damage and uh, just crush that, because at the moment... Yeah, I think we should be able to manage that, so we will, uh, yeah, let's use everybody else to focus down at this go. other guy. Let's go... Uh, let's see... How much evasion can we get? We can get some evasion, pretty good shots, 55s. Seems fairly reasonable. Uh, yeah, I think that will do with that. Actually, maybe we can... no. Can't quite get any more, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, keep you in our Roger. forward arc. And you know what? We'll turn on those LRMs. Put on all the damage we possibly can. Roger. Oh boy. Okay. That worked. Yeah, they uh, they did. Yeah. All right. Um. Receiving you. Let's see. Blackjack, we can bring you... Over here has some nice numbers. Actually, if we go over here... Oh no, we don't quite have the same ability. But from back there, that's probably just as good. Although, if we move further up... What is that? Uh, two evasion pips. Same percentage points, but it's probably not as beneficial for his LRMs if he does survive, so... Let's run on in. Got it. And uh, let's target him. Yeah, we're not really worried about our heat at this point. Let's fire. Now let's see how you handle this. If we can get rid of him, that is all that we really want. Alright, and that brings yeah. us to Medusa. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I think that's kind of ideal range there. That is... Uh, yeah, SRMs are just in range. Everything else is looking fairly comfortable. We'll turn ourselves this way just to make sure we're making it as difficult as possible for them to take the back. And I think we focus here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fire. All weapons are cold. All right, well, we definitely missed with the first couple of shots, so I'm glad we did fully commit everything. And I think here is a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's just take out the Locust. This should be plenty. Engaging physical attack. Oh, and there he goes. One swing and they're done. Excellent. So now our heat is far more manageable. Let's bring ourselves further up to the objective. Uh, so far, I don't think we have too much to worry about. Let's bring you there and you know what I think with you uh, where do we suspect you know they might reinforce from that area so let's bring you up here just so we have a little bit of extra height and uh, for the sake of moving quickly let's go yeah we'll bring you and uh, send you also to the left flank all right, Orion, let's pop you up all the way to the capture zone. And uh, we'll sort out everybody else. Let's bring you... I think there is pretty good. Acknowledged. We can bring you all the way up here too. On the move. And we'll bring you there. Okay. On my way. 
So at this point, we're not seeing any signs of reinforcements, but I'm sure they're coming in. All right, I'm receiving a transmission from the employer's convoy. You've secured the area around their position and they're making their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that the convoy will try and stay near you for protection. Continue advancing to get them to the extract point. Okay. Uh, so we have... Yeah, we're heading up over here. That's fine. They may try and... Uh... Oh, wait a second. We've got to wait for them to finish moving, don't we? Yeah. We may possibly get attacked from over in this direction. Although I would probably expect from over here just because they're going to have a greater line of sight on the target I think we should uh, plan accordingly so let's bring you let's run all the way here yeah let's try and catch up we should have a pretty good field of view from there we'll bring you all the way forwards here Actually, you know what, can we... Oh no, we're, we're not ending on the uh, rocky terrain. That's what matters. Set you up here, and then you, my friend, can run over there. Cover that left side, and you can keep focusing out this way. Move into position. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, pretty decent locations. Allies are moving. No real issues here. Yeah, I think... That is pretty good. Alright, still no contacts, which is a little concerning. I'd kind of prefer to uh, to know what we're dealing with. Let's bring the Iran in. Let's bring you this way. Acknowledged. I think we'll bring you over here. Yeah, there seems to be no... Uh, that. No enemy contacts yet, which seems a little bit uh, surprising. Normally when we've done an escort mission, they uh, try and ambush us. But uh, yeah, there's no one on con on sensors, so let's uh, What's up, boss? let's be uh, smart about things. Let's run you all the way forwards, I think. Get the most out of our... Uh, out of our potential ranges. We'll cover this angle, I think. Roger. And no one has appeared on the radar, so I'll just assume that everybody is uh, all a-okay. Got it. All right, now we should still be in a pretty good proximity. Oh, and we have contacts on sensor. Excellent. All right. Um, more contacts on the sensors, Commander. Looks like they're sending in units to hunt and destroy the convoy. Hold this position, Commander. All right, the we should. Will be on its way soon. We should be able to deal with this fairly well. We have the high ground. We have a pretty good line of, uh, yeah, movement for them. There's no one interceding, and uh, one of them's already there. So, oh, hang on a second. Oh no, that's uh, that's their friendly units. That's fine. For a second, then I thought that was a secondary lot of reinforcements, which was a uh, a mild concern. Alright, let's bring you, my friend, up here. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to see if we can get a shot. Regular move should be fine. Let's move. Oh, and apparently there's two, but they are... For some reason, not targetable. Alright, we're going to sensor lock. We're going to go... We're going to target the 25-ton mech. That is what makes sense. Alright, so they got a commando. They're pretty quick. And uh, apparently not too accurate. Alright, a little unfortunate that we did it in that order. We would have preferred to have uh, burned their evasion, but... Good to go. It's always uh, worth knowing. Alright, let's bring you... Here, here. We're going to go for some shots from way downtown. On my way. Uh, yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, they have a large laser. Ooh. Okay, that's uh, no joke. Locked on. But uh, not looking good. Alright, so... Water Convoy moving in. Receiving. Medusa, what about you? Let's bring you... 
Now let's bring you all the way over here. Uh, I think we'll go for three evasion pips. Position confirmed. And uh, yeah, we'll see about those ACs and LRMs. Let's go. I'm on it. Alright. Still got a bit of uh, damage to do. That's fine. Let's bring bring ourselves point and center. Let's go. Actually, if we go up here, we have 85, 85. Back here is... Ooh, 95 and 80. Huh. Um... You know what? I think, uh... I think I'd prefer to hit with the AC-10 than the LRMs, if anything. So let's just perch ourselves up on this rock. We still get an evasion pip. Yeah, 285s is pretty jolly good. Actually, you know what? We have the resolve. Let's do a precision strike. Let's see if we can bring them down. Yeah, 295s. That's excellent. Uh, they're almost done. Let's just go for the call. We don't really care about... ...too much, so... There we go. Not feeling too good after that one, I'm sure. Alright, what are they going to do? Oh, look, a little locust with, uh, lasers. <laughs> okay, well, sure, I guess you can target them. I really don't care. We're doing well and truly well enough. Let's bring you, uh, over here. 75, 70, 55. It's all pretty much the same. Oh no, we have a little bit better range from back here with our PPCs, so I think that's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, and we also get the two evasion pips. Copy that. Let's uh, just send this guy out of commission. Yeah, actually, you know what? May as well go precision strike. Oh, actually, hang on a second, I don't think that actually buffed our chances at all. Uh, I did with the medium laser. I don't think this is much benefit. Let's just fire with a uh, regular. Well, we did get the knockdown, so that's nice. And uh, who are we going to follow up with? Decker, it does seem. What's All right. Up, boss? Uh, from here, what are your shots? 285s? We go from here, we have 275s. And from here, we have... Alright, so that's what we'll do. We'll run up from on top. Got some uh, pretty good decent chances. 70% there. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna run around and deal with too much. Let's just take the shots. Excellent. There goes the center torso. And uh, let's finish up with this little locust. No point in fooling around. Let's bring you where we're gonna do the most damage from. 50s, 45s, yeah, that's one thing. From here we can do... Oh, well, we can do mildly better, so let's bring you there. And you know what, we'll also use a precision strike with you. Bring those odds up much nicer. Let's go. We'll focus on the left torso, I think. Yeah. Oh, and they also do have a flamer and a large laser, so... Not nothing, but uh, you know what? There we have it. Target eliminated. Well done. Destroyed them. All right, all targets eliminated. Sit tight, and I can collect you from where you are right now. Mission successful. Well done. So I guess uh, we did roll rather well on that precision strike table, and uh, just burned through all the way through to the uh, center core. That's uh, that's not bad. All right, so. Everybody survived, plus 10%, and an extra 10% for, yeah, having everybody, uh, yeah, for taking out the blocking force as well. So, nicely done for us. Payout, 516,000. Well done, and we are getting very close to that Mercenary Review Board rating going up even higher. Alright then, 1000 XP, well done. And, uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go 35 tons, 
and 30 tons. Yep, that is definitely the best value for money. All right. Some uh, other bits and bobs, nothing too special. But yeah, I, I think that was definitely well and truly worth increasing the money on that one. That paid out rather nicely. So let's see. Uh, we're getting really close on some of our higher level uh, skill trees. So we will, uh, yeah, we will see if uh, we have now finally got that close to uh, max on a couple. Oh, yes. We did get that fire starter, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, we can uh, pop them into storage for now. We could scrap for sea bills but i think selling it is probably going to net us more than just destroying it so uh yeah we'll send that to storage and uh yeah we are going to go ahead and see what we can afford with skills all right first of all myself i have three thousand that is all pretty good but uh yeah i i think we uh keep on holding out medusa you can't afford anything. Waiting for orders. Headhunter, yeah, it's gonna be a little while for you. And uh Waiting for orders. Wait, where are you? Receiving you. Glitch. Yeah, oh, no, sorry, Decker. Yeah, now we can go for an even greater piloting ability. Uh still 2.5% to the base melee to hit, but it does also increase our unsteady threshold by a little bit more. So yeah, let's get him ready to hop in the Rock'em Sock'em robot. Let's confirm with that. And uh, yeah, I think, I think that leads us right back to our good old contracts. So you know what, let's have a bit of a C. Now, uh, single skulls, not really, not really what we necessarily want to go with. Uh, this is against the planetary government, so we wouldn't be upsetting anyone, but it would increase our standing with the Capellans. That could be worth doing, uh, but if we did, I think we'll go for more money. But what I'm really keen to do is seeing, is uh, trying out this brawler, and we do have a battle there. So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and go through some time. Let's get this Shadow Hawk up to scratch and uh see if we can make something happen there now we have a little while before our next financial report so realistically sitting on two million we have more than enough uh to keep our funding going on as well as purchasing some goods as we see fit so yeah let's go ahead and uh head to our contract and see this battle so this is for the planetary government that is uh yeah, probably going to go down with somebody else, but that's fine. The payout is what we're really after. Two skulls as well will give us an idea as to what kind of fight we're taking in that priority mission when we do get to that. So this is a good test run. So this is against the pirates. That's fine. I think we'll stay right down the center of things. Uh, if we're fighting some bigger battles, we've probably got some decent salvage. And uh, the money's not too shabby either, but that will increase as we complete the objectives. So I think that that is exactly what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to test out our new Rock'em Sock'em robot. So if you do want to see that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm quite excited to see the episode, and I hope you are too. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.